Where do I point? This is the right direction. Okay. Perfect. Hello. Thank you very much for inviting me. It's a pleasure being here, first time in Beirut. Uh, a little bit about my country first. Uh, Portugal, we are at the doors of the Mediterranean along with our friends from Morocco facing the Atlantic Ocean and this is very much the characteristics where our country has been grounded for now 900 years, just about. I'm showing you today um, something that really defines our country is caught fish industry, first sailing. Portuguese have been known historically for their sailing uh, adventures in history, discovering America, going around uh, the, the in, to India and China, etc., and therefore our former colonies uh, derived from this process. But there was a parallel uh, a, a enterprise really important in Portugal that was the fishing of cod and in the North Sea. So this is a really frozen place, totally alien to our culture, but that became really important in our economy and our history. Right now is probably the main dish in Portugal is bacalhau, cod, uh, and we say there are 500 ways of, of, of doing it. Uh, normally it's the Monday dish. So typical boat to go from Portugal to the North Seas is a really powerful boat, it's a four-mast boat, sails very fast, and this was very important in our culture. The boats would gather in, the, in Lisbon in a particular time. There was a big mass in, in the main cathedral, only the captains would go inside and all the fishermen would wait outside in a mess, so this is this part, and then they would all sail out. And they were extremely organized uh, crews. This is a typical crew, it's 30 men, they all have very special uh, tasks in the boat. Uh, and in fact, this is a very hard labor and small criminal uh, um, penalties could be instead of going to the prison, you could go in fishing, or uh, when we had colonial wars, you could, instead of going to the war, you could go here. So this gives a, a little bit the idea of how tough this was. In 1997, we won a public competition to enlarge the Maritime Museum, the, the, the Ilhev Maritime Museum, and this is an area that has been shaped by this activity. This is the city of captains, and the ne nearby city is the city of sailors. So there's a big competition between both of them. And all the uh, books from all the trips are stored in this museum. And when we enter the European community and the funds start coming in to uh, take care of public structures, this was one of the most important, or at least for us certainly it was, um, uh, that, that stored this very important part of our um, of, of our records of these fishing uh, uh, journeys. This is the model of the, of the competition we won. So as you see, the in front is the existing building, and then in the back is the new volumes for the new collections that we try to uh, um, answer. And this is the process of recycling and enlarging this building. So we basically built a building around the existing building and expanding, expanded the new uh, versions of the building, so we're looking exactly the same thing already recycled. Basically, we have selected this black and white black because all the boats were insulated with this tar, black tar, as a kind of a asphalt insulating material, and white is basically our reference for architecture in Portugal because it comes from the, from the ground and basically uh, so this try to, to answer the, the, the problems of the program and of the context around basically uh, was to uh, um, close the, the block and expand it to the outside and to create an inner courtyard and create a temporary room that would stand out around this bed of water that was also there for security reasons because we had to have all this water for fire extinguish if necessary. But this was the beginning of this project. So inaugurated in 2002. This is called for Portuguese. The, as you, you probably imagine, we would go to the North Seas to fish it and would take it south. There were no refrigerators back then. It was not a problem in the North, but when you come south, this was a problem. So they basically 
cut the head off. It was a complex process. Open up, take the inside out. So for Portuguese people, cod is a triangular flat fish without head, and this is how it's in our culture. But in fact, it is not. It's a really big and particular fish. Um, this is an image from the 30s of two fishermen, and the mayor of the city wanted to give us to 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 deliver to people uh, uh, an idea of what cod looked like. Because in Portugal, we don't know what it looks like. We just eat it all the time, uh, and this seems to be enough. In the, between this process, they have launched an urban competition in this area where the museum is located. You can see it along the line back there. But three years later, we had won a competition for the library on the right-hand side. I will show quickly because it's, a, it's part of this process of renovating these infrastructures in the country. But it was part of the process of um, renovating important pre-existing structures, this uh, manor house with a chapel from 17th century and a palace from uh, um, 18th century that then has been extended into a contemporary adult and children library in, in this context. So at this point, uh, the, the, this, this urban planning called for a building connected into this site where fish itself was going to be the, the, in the center of the, of the organ, urban organization so that this fish has been the responsible for this economical boom that led for generations in, in this area. And also, the, in, in, in a period of time, this black building you see in the back, a former school, had been readapted for a research center in the area of uh, industries of fishing, uh, f fishing technologies, etc. Uh, so they wanted across the street because there's a street that had to keep stay working. They wanted to make the aquarium there, and at the same time, this aquarium was on axis with this new development. So in the future, it's going to be a very relevant place in this organization of this city that is yet to arrive. So we have started using models. We normally build physically uh, constantly our projects. And we worked out with the urbanist, uh, with the urban designer, the f to create this square where this building will take uh, an important role because already the fish and cod bacalhau is going to be the organizer and has been the organizer in many aspects. And we want to somehow formalize it and reorganize the urban space because it's just such a large environment. So we were little by little working in this. Uh, in this, um, uh, in this reshaping the context. I must say the context had this school but was basically built around with single family houses. And for us always seems strange this adjustment of such an important public uh, structure into a basically a, a, a residential area of small scale buildings. So we never wanted to make a big scale building already in the previous one. This contrast black and white, like cutting the building in two halves was part of this strategy, but yet the building was already there, but not now uh, since we were actually adding to a building we had previously done. So of course, we normally, I, I just uh, want to show this because we very, very easily as architects we jump into try to understand the program, see it with our hands, and we make try to understand what is the tank, how many cubic meters of water we need. We are talking about very cold water, very different from ours, eight degree uh, water. And then our consultants were in Norway, so they are the specialists in cod. The cod came from there. So I went to see, present to the Alessund Aquarium uh, my early models, and they say, no, 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 aquarium does not understand architectural space because it will swim against the wall and there's no such thing in the, in the ocean. So you have to think yourself as if you're a cod. You, 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 have, you swim, you turn around, etc. So we went home and tried to embody this uh, cod uh, existence, uh, it's a very beautiful scaleless fish, and so we start understanding that this was really about 
um, swimming with the cod and swimming with the people or diving with the people more likely because it's a very expensive structure and we knew we had to do the most out of the littlest amount of water uh, at eight degrees and we didn't want because we wanted a small building all the technical apparatus had to go on the ground uh, so to have really a two-story building so this was a lot of, a lot of effort uh, to, uh, as you see, some of these walls uh, are start being fat because they are actually chimneys to exchange air with, with the bottom. And there was a street that had to continue working, so it was basically about making a bridge. Uh, so this is the bridge studies, and again, this spiraling and diving with the, with the fish, and so little by little, these models are start refining and and uh, getting defined. So here you see the connection to the school, that is the research center, and the ground in the aquarium in the middle. The connection uh, in the, in, into the museum and the elevations. And you, here you, we see how much the rooms below take space and take importance in, into this building. So again, the black and white here was reversed not to follow the same directly the same thing and this is it is in white painted concrete and black steel on top so this is already a model of context we normally work we build context we build the buildings and we change the buildings along the process and we try to, as much as possible to understand even the skin is a subject as if we cut the fabric not we don't apply elevation wise as if we buy a fabric and we cut it and we sew it together, so the stitching becomes really important. So this is a kind of a pros long process of research. Uh, and the building already comes into the courtyard of the former museum and peeks into the courtyard. It's this pleasure of knowing where we were and where we go. Uh, and then bridge is across defining a square that is there uh, and the street continues working. And Many times at night they make little concerts and gatherings here because it's a very kind of comfortable space. I must say this is the back part of the future entrance, but in the meantime he's working out as well as this entrance. This will be the future entrance as we will enter through the slot back there. And as we enter we have the aquarium just down below us and we will go spiraling down. I think this is spiraling down and we can put the hand in the water and then we continue and dive and this is, has space for exactly one bus of 55 people to sit informally on the ground and somebody will tell the habits of the fish, etc. So here we have these two structures that eventually is a two-story building like the houses uh, that doesn't really uh, adapt itself to the bottom because it has to exchange air and do all sorts of technical stuff. The entrance, I mean, the sunlight is one of the most beautiful Portuguese feature, natural features that writes aquarium in many different ways in, in the entrance and invites you in. But the street and this space, intact space, the research center, uh, I'm very much fond of this multiple functional structure, kind of a plug-in function that keeps life pushing through and now the building waiting for the future development of the city as it is planned right now. Thank you very much.